So the grain comes from an elevator to a mill, and we have Joe Ford here with Shawnee Milling Company to tell us a little bit about what happens whenever you guys receive the mill. Sure. During our receiving process, we do quite a bit of analytical testing before we ever bring a load into the plant. Mm -hmm. We test for moisture, protein, dockage, test weight. Those characteristics allow us to bend the wheat with in homogeneous bins that allow us later to blend it for our needs. But we have to make sure that the grain is up to our quality specifications, mm -hmm. and we have to make sure that we, those are buying standards as well that, we are te that we're testing for. So all those things go into making a quality, quality mill mix to provide consistent wheat to the miller. Let's talk about some of your products you guys have here. At this facility, we make a tremendous amount of family flour, which is a five pound bag of flour that you would see in a grocery store. We make retail mixes that you might see in your local grocery store, cornbread mix, biscuit mix, pancake mix, gravy mixes, things such as that, and institutional flour to large flour users like a restaurant chain or a food service distributor. Okay. Now, now, does it take a certain type of grain or, or a certain type of grain quality to make those different products? We're always looking for quality milling wheat, which, which typically would be larger test weight wheat. Right. This year, with drought conditions, sometimes that's not possible, but right. we're always looking for good test weight. And at times, we're looking for good protein for certain, certain baking mixes that we mill here at the plant. But there are also some lower protein wheats that we must source. So we really need a wide range of characteristics in a wheat crop to meet all of our needs. Where do you get your wheat from? Primarily from Oklahoma. If you look across the state, we have elevators spread across the entire state of Oklahoma that hopefully will bring us a wide variety of characteristics. We do have to source some wheat from out of state, some springs and some soft wheats that are not made here, in, grown here in Oklahoma. But primarily, it's Oklahoma wheat milled at this plant. Because because you have to you, you have to meet a certain criteria for the quality of protein and such, you may have to do a little blending. Yes, there's there's times that the Oklahoma wheat crop does not provide the protein we need, mm -hmm. and so we'll have to bring in some outside spring wheats, which are typically higher protein, to meet some specialized mixes. But on a year in year out basis, we're able to use the Oklahoma wheat crop to service our customers. For a number of years, we have worked hand in hand with the agronomist at Oklahoma State. Specifically at our Minko grain receiving facility, okay. we've donated the land there where they raise some of their test crops, mm -hmm. their test varieties of wheat, and that has been a, a strong relationship for a number of decades. Okay. Additionally, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with the FAPC some, and I've served on an advisory committee about a year ago that helped to give some industry perspective to their programs. But they provide a number of programs on a yearly basis, whether it's pass-up related, food safety, food quality, that we'll send representatives of the company to participate in. And it's that constant innovation that makes Joe's father, the president of Shawnee Milling Company, proud. I don't know of any plant that probably is more versatile or as modern as this plant here, making not only wheat flour and also all those prepared mixes that you saw, but also a lot of corn milling type. And so it's all pneumatic. Uh, everything is done by positive and negative air pressures moved uh, we do all, all of our own blending of the wheats, cleaning of the wheat, but uh, there's not a day that goes by that we're not talking about improving, you might say, the process and uh, making it better. And that's what we do. We have projects going on all the time. You saw that big crane over there <laughs> putting in new uh, cleaners for wheat and corn up in the elevator. And about four or five windows up in the building on the left, we met up with Mark Watts, who explained how the milling process works at Shawnee Mills. So Mark, take, take me through the milling process. What, what's been happening downstairs? Okay, we classified the wheat into the proteins that the customers specify in for us. The elevator bends that wheat for us. We make a selection based on the customer order. The packing department sends me an order. I look at it, grab the wheat from the elevator. We run it through a cleaning process before we mill it. And then uh, we run it across the break roll. Every time we process the wheat, we break it open. We classify it by size using these symptoms. Some of this will be re-ground through another pair of rolls and reclassified. Every time we grind the wheat, we take some flour out. Some of this will be reprocessed, re-ground, or re-sifted so that we can get the maximum amount of flour out of the wheat. Okay. Now, now, just for a housekeeping thing, 
these they, these sifters are moving. It, it's not the television set. That, <laughs> that's that's sit, right. That's what, what's going on in these in these? The product goes in the top of the sifter, and it just moves through across screens. The screens are sized to take it out for the next process. There's about 27 screens inside each box. Depends 21 to 27, and we classify it into different sizes and then reprocess until we get all the flour out. Okay, so so when when it starts the process, it starts with a, a more coarse grain right there and works its way through. So that means the first grinding that we do. Then we'll take it to the second break, second break fine, uh, purifier stock, and another roll stock okay. or flour. And, and this is the flour that goes out? Yes. We, we take that and gather it into one place. We treat it with enrichment or bleach if, that, if the customer calls for it and then we re-bolt it or re-sift it before we send it to the packing department for packing. Okay. And, and so this will go to the packing area. Where, where's the packing area from here? Packing area from here is through a lot of pneumatic lines. We blow it by air up into large bolt bins right above the packer. And that's where we caught up with Joe, ready to show us the final step. This is, a, this is our brand new packer that we put in about a year and a half ago. It's called an Ital pack from Italy, but it packs five pound bags of flour for typical housewife or, or family. Right. These are sold throughout Oklahoma and really throughout the Southwest and Southeast part of the United States. Our company has a long history of, of producing family flour sold through grocery stores, but over the last 30 years, we've really transitioned to do a lot of institutional mixes, institutional products that you might, you might be eating our products in a, in a restaurant in Oklahoma and not even know it. Really? We make a lot of mixes for pizza chains, gravies, breaders, batters, those types of things. So when you see our label in a grocery store, that's part of our business, but there's, we make over 200 products right here in this plant. So it's a very flexible plant compared to a lot of milling operations across the United States. So when you have some type of milled grain product, there's a strong possibility that it was milled in Oklahoma, by Oklahomans, and with Oklahoma wheat.